Alex Gilby, um, a, f- a full week of training, how was the mood in the camp? Yeah, mood's really good. Um, I feel, I think, obviously we went out our best Saturday, um, but that's another point on the ball to where we want to be in, just in a clear week to get everyone ready, everyone up to speed and go again for the weekend. Yeah, you say you weren't at your best, but you are still managing to pick up points, and that is hugely important at this stage of the season. Yeah, I think you sign a good team. I feel like when you're not at your best, as long as you don't lose, and obviously it was a positive and a clean sheet. I think Jock will done really well coming in, making his debut. Um, so yeah, another point towards uh, our destination. You've got a bit more competition for places in the middle of the park now with uh, Jake Forster Kasky uh, coming in. And how how is the battle? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, absolutely loving it. I think obviously when you're at good teams, at top size like we are, I feel like you've always got a competition. Um, I feel like you can't just expect to play every week, otherwise you'll end up not playing very well. So. Obviously, welcoming Kask into the group is really good. So, I've played with him for a few years, so I know him really well. So, yeah, competition's healthy and it's good for everyone. Everyone's training's been really good. Well, I mean, he is a big name. I mean, you've never heard of him, that's how big a name he is. <laughs> so. But the fact that the club can now attract players like that is, is massive. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it just shows what the gaffer, um, what the chairman, and what people are putting together. Um, I feel like when you're the top of the league, a lot of t- players want to jump on it because they think there's a potential promotion there. So, um, as long as the people come in with the right attitudes like they have and they've been unbelievable, the new signings have, I feel like it's a massive thing to be a part of at the moment. Is there a potential promotion there? Oh, I think obviously that's what we're working towards. Obviously, um, we've signed me doing it all season. Um, I think we've been very good this season. So, listen, we know where we want to be and that's what we're working towards. You've been in promotion winning sides before, I think Newport and through the playoffs and then MK Dons. Is there any difference? Do you feel it that it's different here or is it exactly the same? No, it feels exactly the same. Both of them times, obviously I was young at Newport and obviously went going into a men's gesture room when we were an eye opener. And obviously at MK Dons, we had an unbelievable gesture room with real good lads. So I feel like that's off the battle. If you've got a good group of characters, good group of lads who want to work hard for each other, you'd be halfway there. So obviously we'll just keep continuing working hard and hopefully achieve something. Well, first step on that road is Bradford at home. Um, it's another massive game. They're all massive games at yeah, they're massive games, especially being at home, obviously. Um, I think we owe them one for what they've done to us at their place, so I think everyone's looking forward to that. I think the training's been really good this week. Um, the lads are excited for the weekend, and obviously we've got three big games next week, so hopefully we can start off with a win on Saturday. Supposedly there's going to be another big crowd there like there was for the Orient game. Does that actually have an impact on that when you're playing? Do you get moments in the game where you think, wow, this is actually so sort of rotten? Yeah, of course it does. I feel like when, um, especially if it ain't going our way, obviously we went, the way we started against Leighton Orient, I think it was unbelievable. And obviously we got the crowd on side and we scored some early goals. But when it ain't really going your way or there's a low point in the game, I feel like the fans are massive. So um, the more we can get through the gates, the better. And I feel like we're going to keep attracting these crowds if we keep winning games of football. Just want to go back quickly to the transfer window. There was a clause in, in your loan contract which said Charlton could have took you back if they wanted to. Was there any conversations between us? Oh, no, I told the gaffer straight away as soon as January is approaching. I don't want to go back there. Um, I think he made some of the right calls. I think he knows a few people there. So he made the calls and told them how I felt. So my mind was never going back to Charlton. It was always standard Steve, did you get a job done? No one's going to say so. It's obviously that you're enjoying it that much. You just do not want to leave. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it, obviously, with the staff, down to the players. I think the change room is unbelievable. I think I've said it recently, it's the best I've been in. So, all we've got to do now is keep staying together, keep working hard for each other, and there's an end goal in sight. I think I probably asked you this not long after you signed, but when you signed, did you did you think this was ever going to be the case, or did you just think it'll be a good season, but we'll see what happens? Obviously, I'll come in there straight away wanting to get promotion, obviously, from the conversations I've had with the manager and Revs and Reigns. I feel like that was always a goal of mine to be at the top of the league. Did I think it was going to go this well? I don't know. I don't know if anyone did, but obviously spoke to a few lads before I signed. Obviously spoke to Reeves here, known him a long time. So it was just a bit like, he told me how good the lads were. So it was just like, get me involved with that. And obviously, thankfully, at the moment, it's paying off. And uh, just finally, we'll skip ahead one and go up to Newport away on, on Tuesday. Like you say, it's a former club, but it's a long journey on a Tuesday night. As a player, how does that affect you? I feel like once you're on the bus and you're with the boys, I don't really think you look into it too much. Um, and especially this time of the season, it's just another game where another team stands in the way of where we want to be. So we'll be going there. Um, obviously, we ain't overlooking the weekend, but we'll be going to Newport and trying to get three points and then the table will look a lot more healthier.